All right, Simon, thank you on that. In today's health alert, new research from the Cleveland Clinic showing erythritol, a popular artificial sweetener, may increase the risk of cardiovascular events like heart attacks and strokes. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joining us now with more details on this. And good afternoon, Doc. Researchers good testing afternoon. healthy participants who had fasted overnight, right? Absolutely, yeah, and they, and they were even given a drink containing 30 grams of erythritol or 30 grams of sugar, and blood tests showed this, that erythritol levels spiked dramatically, Linda, by a thousandfold, while blood sugar levels only increased slightly. Now, what was really concerning to me was that erythritol, erythritol made platelets much more active. So in English, you know, platelets are blood cells that help form clots and which can break away and travel to the heart or brain, potentially causing a devastating heart or stroke. The study found this, that drinking a beverage with erythritol more than doubled the risk of blood clotting. That's terrible. And whereas blood sugar did not have the same effect. Well, alarming is that result was observed with just a single serving of 30 grams of erythritol, which is an amount typically found in sugar-free sodas or muffins. So that's why it's so concerning. So, Doc, isn't erythritol generally recognized as safe by the FDA? That's a really good point. It, it, it is classified as generally safe, as generally recognized as safe for GRAS by the FDA, primarily because it's a sugar alcohol naturally found in some fruits and fermented foods. However, it's also produced commercially by fermenting corn or plant sugars. It's about 70% as sweet as sugar, but almost no calories, right? It sounds great. Uh, you'll find it in products like Truvia, some Splenda items, and many low calorie foods, including ice cream, candy, gum, cookies, protein bars, and the like. While erythritol and other low-calorie sweeteners are often recommended for people with obesity, diabetes, or metabolic syndrome to reduce sugar intake, it's important to note this, that these folks already at, are at a higher risk for cardiovascular events. And this latest study was small and involved only 20 participants, but it adds to similar findings, Linda, from a 2023 study where we found that erythr erythritol levels remained high for up to three days after consumption. An analysis of over 4,000 folks in the U.S. and Europe found that people with the highest erythritol levels were twice as likely to suffer a heart attack or stroke. So given these concerns, I think it's really better, best to err on the side of caution and consider limiting or avoiding products with erythritol, especially if you have existing cardiac disease or diabetes. You know, just everything in moderation. Talk to your doctor because this is concerning to me. If somebody's already at risk for stroke and heart attacks, get something that could potentially increase that. So that could be, that could be life-altering or even maybe life-threatening for you. All right, Don. Thank you. Appreciate it. My pleasure. All right, we'll talk soon. This week on the Dr. Nandy Show, natural remedies for the common cold. We hear about unique ways to look at your health this Sunday at 1 p.m.